Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today we're going to be doing another haul from the Goodwill Bins bags that I picked up in October. Um, any current changes to the situation I'm facing with the post office? So far I'm only up to seven of the 67 packages that never got scanned. I'm up to seven defects which in the grand scheme of things probably I, I'm I dodged a bullet for sure I, I wouldn't I would not say for sure because you still got some that could come in yeah they may come in we looked the one that I got this morning added on was delivered two days ago um so I'm hoping that means I think there was one or two that still are not delivered um but I, I'm hoping that I'm not going to get the the damage that I thought I might get it'd be nice if it stayed under 20. Yeah, well, it'd be nice if it stays under 10. That'd be really nice. That would be nice, but yeah, I'm I'm very, I'm just going to say it, I'm very disgusted with my post office, not with the postal system in general, because the fact that they got 60 of my packages delivered quickly so that I didn't take a ding, I guess I should be grateful, but I'm disgusted with just the inept ineptness and lack of concern that they have for their customers that's that's just it and we're going to try our best just to get our packages there every day as early as possible so that the counter people have enough time to get them scanned in because i just i do not like ebay's scan sheet why can't it be like pirate ship pirate ship you print out all your labels one at a time one at a time Put them There's on the box. none of this. You got to fill it all in and print out mass numbers of labels. Well, let's and, let's take a step back real quick. Maybe we un, maybe we misunderstand the eBay system, and we're doing it wrong. So I don't in, think in, so. in our understanding of the eBay system, we pick the first item, we enter the the weight and the dimensions, and we pack it. And then we have to write on the package what this it is, is what it is or who it's going to or something. Then we do the next item and we do the next item and we do that for. 67 times 67 times and then we hit the go button and it prints 67 labels and then we have to match each label up with the package that it goes to which, which that's just all kinds of you know going to have errors is there a different way to do that with pirate ship we we tried this the other day with with a couple packages and you go in you package an item you print your label you put it on the package you do item number two you print it you put it on the label and then when you're finished with all 67 packages you hit end of day and it creates a scan sheet from all the things you've done which is the way it should be done except that pirate ship doesn't tell you you know what your buyer paid you know what they selected yeah what the the buyer selected but also a lot of times priority is cheaper than ground advantage and i like to be able to see that kind of stuff and i i i wasn't seeing that readily available um because you know a lot of times i upgrade if they've paid ground advantage and i can still ship it you know for like less than a dollar more a lot of times i'll do that i wanted to get it to them quicker especially this time of year and it saves us 50 cents to a dollar on, on a, box. a box so yeah i'm not you know, they both have their flaws. And so for right now, I'm just not going to do scan sheets. And the ladies at the post office said they were happy to scan our stuff in right. every day. As long as we get them there early. Because they're very busy in the afternoons right now. Yeah. And then today, Saturday, they are only open from 930 to 1130. Right. So I was there at 935. To drop um, off. And maybe on Pirate Ship, there's a way to actually see what the buyer selected. Because we don't want to ship it ground advantage if the buyer selected priority because that would just be right rude and it would uh, the and buyer would be downgrade upset. and ebay does not like that so it, maybe there's a way on pirate ship to see that and if there was somebody commented that they have their phone their phone open which might be a good might be a way to to deal with that is on your phone just kind of or keep another tab open on the computer to look but that's kind of a pain to have to go back and forth, back and forth. when on ebay it tells you right there the first thing is what the buyer selected. Buyer selected this, so, oh, they selected ground advantage, so we know upgrade it if we want or don't. But if we know they picked priority, then we better ship it priority. Right. 
All right. So any comments on that kind of situation? Because I'm still, I'm very, very disgusted. All right. Quit being mad. Let's talk about something. Right. At the end of the year, last week of the year, we're doing a live. Don't forget, we, we mentioned this in another video, but if you have a question for us about anything, anything you, you want to know the Powerball numbers and be certain to get them wrong, ask those and I'll tell you. <laughs> yep. Um, any, any question you want to send at us, we will do our best to answer it. Yes. We're making up, compiling a list. Before we get started with this pile, I got a package in the mail from Misty. So Misty, I'm gonna go ahead and share your package with everybody and then we'll move on to my treasures. Misty's a good supporter. She's always leaving comments. Always leaving comments for which, us. Which helps us in the YouTube algorithm a lot. Aw, uh, I love this card, y'all. Look, it's like textured. Definitely looks vintage. Yep, made in the USA. May the gifts of Christmas, which are faith and hope and love, be yours. Thank you for all you share, Misty. Oh, thank you so much. All right, and then, oh, look, very vintagey. This looks like Dream Pet. It is. Look. How absolutely adorable. There's the Dakin, Dakin Dream Pets tag. That's funny. These might, I don't know, they might have to sit on my wall for a little while. If they don't sit on your wall, they'll sit on my wall. Robert's loving these. <laughs> I'm, yeah, Robert's loving these, Misty. Thank you very much. I'll put them up here with the rabbits that are going to go on the wall. Yes. Look, I'm going to just start out with this. Now, it is more contemporary, so I, I'm hoping $20, $25. But look, a stife. A stife bear at the Goodwill bins. Always pick these up, the itty bitties. I haven't even got to the two or three that I've already shown you guys, so I'm gonna, I am already got a nice lot going. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. No, the other one I'd listed already was St. Patrick's Day, so this one's going to be Valentine's Day, but this is Anna Lee. The last one was, yeah, they're not Vintage ones. This one's 2009. Most of these, I think, are, you know, $10 to $15 maybe. Mud pie. Look how cute. Her hair has got some issues. Kind of linty. Clean. I'm glad. I'm probably $10 to $15 for her. Dinosaur. Oh, the tail is poseable. But it is Jurassic World. I'm trying to see if there's a date. Not seeing it. It's got a little bit of issues here. Very intriguing, though. Don't know. I'm hoping $15 to $20 for it. I don't always pick these up. These, like, huggers. I think Dakin has some... Maybe Russ, but this one seems really different. Don't really have a manufacturer on it. It's got an old, old Made in China sticker on the bottom there. I don't know. I'm hoping maybe $15 or so for it. I think now they're too stiff to be what they call knee huggers. If you find ones that where the knee goes up inside the arms, those tend to do really well for me. Now, I showed you guys in another bag that I had picked up some Pillsbury Doughboy plush. This was from that same day. It just got put in a different bag, but it's got some serious cleaning needed done on it. Most of these are bread and butter. This says, hmm. Basic Fun, Miss Fittens. Miss Fittens. Don't know what that's all about. I don't think I've had that before. Probably Basic Fun puts out the new Singamajigs, um, the new Care Bear plush that I've been finding. Um, so most probably going to be bread and butter, but interesting. Something new to learn. 
Circo, which is Target. I tend to do really well with these, and a lot of times they sell very quickly for me. This one's got like a corduroy hands and nose. I don't know. I'm hoping maybe 20 bucks or so for him. Maybe more. Oh, he needs a bath. But look, he is a tie. Pluffies. This is what the tags are going to always look like. They don't say Pluffies, but they'll have that 100% Tylux on it. But they're just this kind of fabric. I don't think I've ever had the Blue Bear Angel. So I'm not sure. It says it is... 2011. Should come clean in the wash. Huh. Says Tubamoles. The original sensory plushie. Trying to see. Wonderfuljungle.com. Very interesting. But look, it's that tube neck. I don't know. I'm hoping bread and butter at least. Ooh, I love this. Very interesting. Sorry. All right, this says 2009, and the tag says Myim, M-I-Y-I-M. Y'all, I tend to find, if they're these cloth tags, they tend to be of nicer quality than some of the other tags. I don't know. I know I've picked this brand up before, but it is very, very seldom. I'm going to guess hopefully 20 plus dollars for him. Ninja. Oh, that's the wild. What is it? Let me look. Wicked Cool. Yeah, that's what it's usually called. It's from the Wicked Cool Toys. Probably bread and butter. Y'all, I showed you guys a Neopets recently, and I said, you know, it'd been a long time. Neopets plush is one to be definitely looking for. This is Wild Republic Cuddlekins Tortoise. Most of these are going to be bread and butter. Got a couple of loveys here. Oh, that one's got issues. Needs a good bath. Looks Carter's. Yep, child of mine. Probably bread and butter. And this one looks familiar, like I've listed one recently. Carter's. I think mine was a different uh, pattern on the lovey part. Probably bread and butter. Fuck. Don't know, y'all. Some of these bashful bunnies are just bread and butter. But the fact that this one's gray, maybe. I know a lot of times, too, the ones that have the patterns in the ear can be can do better. I, I don't know. I'm hoping. Let's say 15 up for it. I just sold a gray one like this. It had its paper tag. I think I sold it for $10. So that's probably what I'll shoot for with this. It is Animal Adventure 2019. Just a very unique design. And it's like almost like flannel type fabric. I'm working on my piles, y'all. Working on my piles, and there's a football in one of the piles. So I'm going to go ahead and put the football and the soccer ball together. I'm hoping I'll list them maybe $20, $25 for the two. I see he's familiar. But the tag's cut, and all I see is what looks like a C something. I don't know. He kind of reminds me of like Dakin or Russ or Applause or one of them. Don't know though. Maybe Google Lens will help me. This is Scholastic Books. Maybe I'll figure out what book it goes to. Flipper. Don't know if it's going to be Flipper or not. Don't think so though. Don't know. I'm hoping 12 to $15. Here's the stuff Robert stopped. At a yard sale for. I don't even I never even asked you how much you paid. Eight. Eight dollars for the two. This one is Why Not Wands Salem, Massachusetts, but it is a Harry Potter toy. Alright, and then I let me just open it up. Oh yeah, here. And how much is it worth? 
Maybe 15. All right, so 15 for it. And then, I don't even know what this is, a wall art. Gryffindor House Crest Wall Art. It has been opened. So I'll take pictures of it, you know, all sides and everything. Does it do something or it's just art? It's just a wall mounting thing. Oh, and how much is it worth? No, they're like 60 or 70, but probably 30 or so. 30 35. or 40, somewhere I saw there. they were having a yard sale on the way to take RJ to Votech school. And my concern was, was that they were trying to raise money for Christmas stuff. So I, I went there with the intent to find anything that I could find interesting and buy it. And even if I paid up for it. Yep. These are the Victoria's Secret pink dogs. I tend to make lots. I'm not sure if I've currently got one going or I've already sold it. So if not, he'll either be added to a current one or I'll start a new one. Oh, interesting. At the bins, y'all. At the bins. But it is a clown. What are these called? Marionettes. Yeah, marionette. I'm going to see if there's a tag or anything. Mm -mm -mm. Very, very cool. I'm not seeing. Oh, wait, here. Handcrafted exclusively for Dairyland International. Very neat. No idea on value. Two baby dolls. They are, let me look. It says made in China. Made in China. A lot of times these are like Behringer, but I'm not seeing any writing on their necks other than that. I see a number 25 on one and another like 76 maybe on the other, but they almost look the same. They are from a series that's anatomically correct, but both of these are little girls. I don't know. I'm hoping 20 plus for each one, maybe a little more. Look at them. You use the word like newborn because they've got all their little wrinkles. Very cool. Did you say Dairyland for this thing? I thought I said Dairyland. What did, is it Fairyland? Fairyland. Oh, the D was covered. It was sewn into the thing, kind of, sort of. Okay, so it's, Fairyland. It's like, what does a clown have to do with dairy? I don't know. Look, Knickerbocker. Somebody had a free sticker on it. I'm not sure if that's just loosey goosey, but these are beanbag animals. I love that. He's got his little bib. I'm hoping 15 to $20, if not more. Here's one. It says SOS. I'm wondering if it's the same. No, it says Good Stuff Corp. But it's not the same SOS, which I last time I couldn't remember. It's Save Our Space. But look how cute. A big old elephant. Probably going to list it for like $15 or $20. I thought SOS was Save Our Ship. Little mm -hmm. Morse code machine. Yep. This is Koala Baby. It's got, it's got a, the neck is very floppy. It has a little like foam thing in there, but I don't know if it's been pushed way down because it's definitely not holding the neck up. Oh, there we go. Just had to push it up, but it still ain't holding it up. I don't know. Sometimes I do really well with Koala Baby. I think a lot of those were sold at like Toys R Us. But I don't know. I'm hoping 15 to 20 for it. It is looking better now with that foam neck moved a little. Oh, this is... I thought it was a puppet, but no. He does have like Velcro hands. Has his little Aurora tag it says on the back scruff oh it is a puppet oh there it is puppet playtime puppet all right y'all oh very good 
anytime you have plush, this is just one of my, my moments, and there's something stiff, like plastic or cardboard or anything, hands, mouth, a lot of times that's where they are. Don't put these in a poly bag or a bubble mailer. It's going to need to be boxed because once this gets all bent or damaged, it's not going to go back and you're not going to have a happy customer. So make sure if it's stiff, there's something in there, make sure you ship them in a box. Oh, he even has this one tag. Oh, it was supposed to come with two finger puppets. That's why there's Velcro there. Oh, well. Big old fat calico cat. It is, oh, it's got the Justice heart right there. I know Justice is like Walmart now. Not sure if it's other places, but see that little heart there? That means it was part of the Justice store. I'm trying to see if there's any. It was from May 2017. Tween brands, yeah. Very cute. I don't know. I'm hoping 20, 25 plus for it once I get it cleaned up. All right. Another Carter's Lovey. I think most of these are probably bread and butter. Maybe a little bit more. Ugh. Two Woodies. They are different. Hey, howdy, hey. No hats. This one's fatter. It looks like, I don't know, just different. Somebody donating all their Toy Story stuff. I don't, you know what? It's been a while since I've listed these. I'm hoping 20 plus for them. Let's see, does this one work? No, nope, I'll have to check its batteries. I love this. Love. You know, this is similar to like the clowns, the poter clowns that I pick up on occasion. But look, because that's the same kind of face that's on those clowns. And it's a wind-up musical, and it's that foam. It's like felt-covered colored, felt -covered foam. I don't know. The clowns do really well, especially if they're in good condition. There's some that have like legs that do better than the ones that don't have legs. I don't know. I'm hoping 20 plus dollars for him. He's very clean. I tend to not want to buy them anymore if they're not clean. All right. This is Fiesta. I'm trying to figure out what kind of animal is. Is it a raccoon? It doesn't look like a raccoon. But the tail it's a is different. You think? Looks like a raccoon. Oh, yeah. It says raccoon. Oh, wait. Raccoon, skunk, or badger. This might be a badger. No, I don't think it's a raccoon. Could be a badger. You think? I don't know. Maybe it's a skunk. Not a skunk. I'm hoping 15 to $20 for it. The face is raccoon. I just realized, look, his nose has been chewed off. Gotta pay attention. And last but not least, ooh, it says Aurora Max. M-A-X, Max the dog. I don't know. Is he a book character or just a terrier plush? Don't know. Let's let's wish twelve to fifteen dollars. And we'll see. All right, y'all. Whole lot of plush still to get through, but I got a bunch that needs to get washed now. It's time to get to work. Bye.